as the Germans expanded their plans to create living space under Hitler's regime. The Nazis in the Wehrmacht invaded and occupied many different territories. For the development of Nazism, Hitler believed it vital that they controlled lands away from Germany in Central and Eastern Europe, and it was with his invasion of Poland that the Second World War began on the continent. On the 1st of September 1939, German tanks and armed forces rolled into Poland, and during their occupation of the country, they would devastate the lives of millions. Inside of the country, huge deportations of Jews occurred to first ghettos where they were forced to live in squalid and terrible conditions, and then eventually once these were liquidated, they were sent to concentration camps such as Auschwitz and extermination centres such as Belzec or Treblinka. The Nazi invasion of Poland resulted in the deaths and murders of millions, with most being innocent civilians. Upon entering Auschwitz, there was a Polish photographer who also was a prisoner, who worked in the Erkennungsdienst, and he was tasked with photographing much of the goings-on at the evil camp. Wilhelm Brasser produced an estimated 50,000 pictures for the Nazis, and many of these were of prisoners. But there was one image of a young teenage girl, which shows a girl in the depravity of Auschwitz, wearing her striped uniform. The image is haunting, as it shows a girl who years before would have had her whole future and life ahead of her, but because of the Nazis, she was forced into the horrific concentration camp that ultimately took and claimed her life. Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of Szeslava Kwokka, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Szeslava Kwokka was born inside of a small village in Poland on the 15th of August 1928, and her mother was a Catholic. It's assumed that like so many young children in Poland, she had a normal school life, but when the Germans invaded the country, everything changed. Szeslava was just 11 when they did this, and within a short amount of time, her whole world would change. After taking control of the country, the Germans sought to displace the native Polish population from the areas where German settlers had been introduced. Heinrich Himmler ordered a huge resettlement of the Zamosk region, and in this operation there were a huge number of war crimes committed by the Germans. They would murder and rob many civilians, looting houses and also carrying out huge scale mass executions, in which the Polish population would be incredibly fearful of. They reigned with terror, and in the operation, over 110,000 people were displaced from their homes, and 30,000 of these were children who had been separated from their parents. Children who showed traits of being Germanic in their nature and looks were sent away to German families or orphanages, where they were then Germanized. But thousands of children who did not meet this specific criteria were then sent to concentration camps, where eventually they were exterminated inside of the walls. Szeslava Koka was one of these children who was not saved. She had been living with her mother before they were both sent to a transit camp for deportation. Inside of this first camp, the sanitation was terrible, and children were locked away in the stables and were kept in barracks with no bunks, sleeping arrangements, beds, or access to any medical care. Disease was rife, and many of the children were forced to sleep in the mud, and many suffered from lice and other diseases. Szeslava and her mother were then deported to Auschwitz on the 12th of December 1942. Auschwitz had grown in its size rapidly following the camp's creation, and it eventually became the largest death centre of the Holocaust, with over one million people being murdered within the barbed wire fences. It was incredibly tough, but along with her mother, Szeslava arrived there, and they managed to make it past selection. As prisoners arrived at the camp, SS doctors and other members of staff, such as guards, would conduct selections in which they admitted people into the camp based on how good a worker they believed they would be. Upon entering the camp, Szeslava was photographed for the Third Reich's concentration camp records, and because of this, she has been identified as one of the 50,000 people who were forced under duress to have their image taken by photographers such as Wilhelm Brasser. The photographs of her show her in three poses or positions, from the front and then from each side. Brasser had been ordered as the Second World War turned against the Germans to destroy all of the photographs taken and their negatives, but he managed to rescue some of them, and Szeslava's was one. 
Her portrait shows a young girl, who was most probably terrified by where she was and the fact she had been separated from her mother. She was one of 230,000 children and people under the age of 18 that arrived at Auschwitz, and Brasser was ordered to take good photographs of the prisoners. He later said of his photograph of Sheshlava that the girl was terrified and upset, she did not know where she was. One of the SS Afsarin's German supervisors had beaten her with a whip or a stick for not understanding her commands in German. In one of the photos, it shows Sheshlava with a swollen face and traces of blood on her lips and with tears in her eyes. Brasser stated that she wiped her face before he took the image and her hair had been cut short and was roughly cut when she arrived at the camp. It's likely that before she had longer hair and she was marked with a letter P on her triangle which denoted she was a Polish prisoner. Sadly, that is all we know about Sheshlava Kocka's time inside of Auschwitz. Her mother died on the 18th of February 1943 inside of the camp and Sheshlava died at the age of 14 on the 12th of March 1943 and she was killed. The circumstances of her death were not recorded or written down but one must assume that she was probably killed inside of a gas chamber inside of Auschwitz. The year before, many Polish prisoners had been driven into the gas chambers and the killing operation at the camp was expanded with the creation of more crematoria at the time. Sheshlava Kocka would be one of thousands of children who did not survive the horrific camp of Auschwitz and months after arriving there, she was dead. She was one of many whose photograph lives on also and her image is a horrifying reminder of the evils of the Nazis. Before the war, she had her whole life ahead of her, but the evil regime of the Nazi party would change her life upside down, and it would ultimately be the Nazis who would end her life. She was one of 30,000 children who were snatched from their parents, deported to camps, and also deported to Germany, being stolen from their families. The story of Sheshlava Kwokka is a harrowing one, and one which must be remembered in history. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.